sixth grade science. Miss Fleming here to help you with your science for the week. You have studies weekly, which it reads to you and stuff, so I'm not going to do that. But you also are to look at sections I or H and I on IXL. So I'm going to go through a couple of those problems so you understand what you're doing. So without further ado. So I am in section H1. This asks you to identify changes in gravitational potential energy. So Nathan hiked up a tall mountain. He followed a trail all the way to the summit. This wants you to complete the statement and then assume that his mass did not change. The gravitational potential energy stored between Nathan and Earth, did it increase, decrease, or stay the same as he hiked towards the summit? Now, for gravitational potential energy, if your distance from the Earth increases, then your gravitational potential energy increases. If your distance decreases, then your gravitational potential energy decreases. If your distance from the Earth stays the same, then your gravitational, gravitational potential energy stays the same. So the summit is the top of a mountain. He's getting farther away, so he's increasing, so his um, gravitational potential energy should also increase. Another one, a submarine dove hundreds of feet from the surface of the ocean towards the ocean floor. Complete the statement and assume that its mass did not change. Gravitational potential energy stored between the submarine and Earth, did it increase, decrease, or stay the same as a submarine dove towards the ocean floor? The submarine is getting closer, so its distance is decreasing, so the gravitational potential energy is also decreasing. Lacey was driving her car on a road when she saw a red light ahead. She slowed the car to a stop along a flat road. Did the gravitational potential energy stored between the car and the Earth increase, decrease, or stay the same? Well, she hasn't gotten farther away or closer to the Earth at all. Her speed just changed, but that doesn't have anything to do with gravitational potential energy. So it stayed the same. All right, let's bump up to the next stage. Read the text about animal in motion. A prairie dog was resting underground in its burrow when it heard other prairie dogs running around above ground. The prairie dog left its burrow and ran around on a flat field with the others. After a few minutes, it got hungry, so it stopped in a patch of grass to feed. When was the least gravitational potential energy stored between the prairie dog and Earth? Assume that the prairie dog's mass did not change. So was it when it was resting in its burrow? when it got hungry, or when it stopped in the grass. So the least gravitational potential energy stored. Um, so we know it left, so it went up, so that was increasing. Uh, when it got hungry, it wasn't moving. I'm gonna say that. No, when it was resting in its burrow. Um, oh, I guess since it was above the ground, even though it wasn't moving, it had gone up. All right, that makes sense. I'm learning, you're learning, we're all learning. Mateo stood in the center of the highest diving board at a public, public pool. He stared at the water far below him and then decided he did not want to jump. So he climbed carefully down the ladder. He walked across the flat deck to the side of the pool, then he sat down and dipped his feet in the water. When was the least gravitational potential energy stored between Mateo and the Earth? Assume that Mateo's mass did not change. When he decided that he did not want to jump off the diving board, when he started climbing carefully down the ladder, or when he was sitting on the side of the pool. I'm going to say when he decided he didn't want to jump off. Let's see what it says. I'm not very good at this. I guess because he decided he didn't want to jump off, he would be moving. He was at higher points. I mean, that makes sense. This is kind of confusing, so if you guys are stuck, it's totally okay. Destiny rode her electric scooter home from school. 
When she started the scooter, its battery was charged. She rode down a ramp to the flat street in front of the school. After a few minutes traveling along that street, she rode up a hill to reach her house. When she got home, she noticed that the scooter's battery was low. When was the least gravitational potential energy stored between the scooter and the earth? When the scooter was at Destiny School with the charged battery, when the scooter used its battery to move along the flat street, when the scooter arrived at Destiny's house with a low battery. So the least gravitational potential energy. All of these, its distance from the earth isn't changing. The scooter and the earth. The least gravitational, so the least amount of energy. She rode down a ramp to the flat street in front of the school. And then she rode up a hill. So, I'm going to say when it was on the flat street because it's not changing its distance from the earth. Yay, we got one. <laughs> All right. So hopefully that helps. Sorry for the confusion in the beginning of that. Uh, as I've said before, it's been a while since I've done some of this stuff, so it's a little tricky for me sometimes too. The biggest part of this, that second stage of uh, H.1 is making sure you read exactly what it says. Carefully read what it's asking and where the changes in, in elevation come from. All right, let's do some I1. So I is thermal energy, predict heat flow and temperature changes. All right. Two solid blocks are heated to the temperature shown. The blocks are placed so they touch. In which diagram shows the direction heat will flow? So is it gonna go left, right, or no heat flow? I don't think there's gonna be any heat flow because they're the same. I don't know, this is new to me. Hey! Two solid blocks are heated to the temperature shown. The blocks are placed so that they touch. Which diagram shows the direction the heat will flow? This is 89 degrees Celsius to 109, 109 to 89, no heat flow. Um, Celsius is just a different measurement to measure temperature. Um, 89 degrees Celsius is super hot in Fahrenheit, but it's still less than 109 degrees Celsius. So they are the same unit of measure. So don't be confused by the fact that it says a big C for Celsius. I'm going to say that the heat is going to go from the hot one to the cold one, and they're probably going to balance out. Let's see. Awesome. Again, which diagram shows the directional heat will flow? So we have 66 to 64, 64 to 66, or no heat flow. I'm going to guess, again, the hotter one's going to make the less cooler one about the same temperature. Let's see. Yes. Um, which direction will the heat flow? We have 158 to 147, 147 to 158, or no heat flow. The hotter is going to transfer to the colder. Now we're in stage two. Um, two identical blocks are heated to different temperatures. They're placed so that they touch and heat begins to flow. They're insulated so no energy escapes. Later, the temperature of each block is measured again. Which pair of temperature is possible? So no heat should theoretically be escaping so that they aren't, the blocks are placed so that they touch and then flow between, but they're insulated so no energy escapes. So I think that what it means is it can go from left to right, but it can't escape. So I'm going to say that this one cooled down a little bit and this one 
gained some temperature because they're balancing. I don't know 100%. Let's see what it says. Yay! Um, so again, they're insulated, so no energy escapes, no heat escapes, but they do touch so they can share some heat. So which one is possible? Um, there's only four, to, oh my goodness. Everyone's just calling me today. I'll finish this problem and then deal with that in a minute. So let's see. I don't think it's going to do that. I'm going to go with this one. Awesome. I'll do one more. 101. Geez, that's hot and cold. So what is possible? Well, it can't be zero. They're both definitely not going to four, so this is the only one that makes sense. All right, I think we're good here. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, just read exactly what the problem is asking you to do. Um, but if you're stuck, just let me know. If not, enjoy your day.